Well, there's my completed install and also uh, a deep dive into the menuing and settings of the, the BT-7. So while I give you some footage of it actually in action, these are uh, clips that I recorded, I'll go through kind of a summary of the review. So after a couple of weeks and a couple hundred test miles with the new Halo Byte Tango BT-7 Plus system, I'm back. The Halo view systems have always worked well for me and I've been happy with the image quality, but this new system has ramped up the image resolution another notch, especially the recordings. Everything is cleaner and sharper. I didn't get one blackout from interference during over 200 miles of towing on back roads, highways, cities, and in rainy weather. With my previous wireless rear view system, I would get the odd few second blackout occasionally caused by other nearby wireless signals like in dense urban environments or when other cars with wireless equipment would pass me. Uh, the wireless lag has been improved. High speed motion is smoother and the video tracking of vehicles is more accurate compared to their actual locations. Um, in past systems you would you would see the car in the video but the actual real life location would be a little bit further ahead of it. This one they're much tighter um, where it is and where it actually shows in the video. Uh, the color balance and exposure compensation are excellent. Uh, I had uh, that this test footage was done during one of those kind of bright white sky days which is always really hard for cameras because of the, all the different varying contrast levels and I think it did a pretty good job. Uh, they have what they call the IPS display which is nice and bright and it's also viewable from side angles. You don't have to look, be looking straight on if you're just off to the side. It's still pretty bright and clear to your eye. Uh, the Byte Tango's integration with the Halo View sensory blind spot radar worked as advertised. When a vehicle approached from the rear of our fifth wheel trailer, the display would auto switch to the side camera view, then switch back once the vehicle had cleared the front of our truck. If multiple vehicles passed by, it would hold the side view until they all cleared. Or if cars were passing on both sides, the display would show a split screen showing both side cameras at the same time. 